Went ahead, did Bondo, sanded it as smooth as I can. We're gonna spray it with some primer. And the Bondo is just really just to kind of smooth out the outside because particle board likes to kind of come apart. And I figured if I am gonna be using this as a mold, um, I don't want the part that uh, we are making out of this uh, to start peeling up the actual structure of this piece. guys what is going on it is the next day uh, all we did last night was lay down uh, the primer sand it off lay more down sand that off um, and then I put a white enamel paint on there uh, first coat I went very light second coat I went pretty heavy and put a wet coat so it had like a nice glossy sheen to it um, and it came out really nice so uh, this thing is basically ready to be used as the mold um, and the material that we are going to be using, I'm sure you guys are wondering, uh, it is going to be carbon fiber. I have a roll of uh, 50 inches by 10 yards of carbon fiber that I picked up online, uh, and then a bunch of resin and stuff, so uh, we can make a carbon fiber part. recording but I wasn't recording because my battery had died so I went ahead and got this whole thing all waxed up sorry about all this the lines and stuff but uh, so went ahead waxed up the whole thing uh, you guys didn't want to see it anyway it's just wax on let it dry 15 minutes uh, wax off wax on let it dry 15 minutes wax off um, and then a third time and now I'm getting ready to actually spray it with the hairspray and we're gonna do four coats of this uh, I went ahead and got the bottom all prepped so it doesn't stick to the bare wood on the bottom and we should be good after that I'm so sad guys uh, I put a heavy coat on the last coat um, and the ad or the propellant, I think, from the hairspray actually went down in and started to eat up the paint. So it is just like it's smooth and it's. I think it'll work, but the paint is like underneath all bubbling up. Like if you use like a paint remover, it's doing that weird stuff. So. Uh, I'm gonna send it anyway because I really don't feel like waiting another like two days to get this thing reprepped. I will waste some carbon fiber on this. I don't care. We're testing. We're learning what works, what doesn't work. We learned that a heavy coat of that does not work on this enamel paint. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna see if it can still work. Um, worst things, or the worst thing that'll happen is the paint comes up with the carbon fiber part. So. We'll just go ahead and send it, see what happens, and we will know for next time.
Uh, I think it came out pretty good for a noob. Uh, this is, of course, it's still wet, so we don't know how it's going to pull off. We don't know what it's going to look like underneath, but this is what it looks like so far. Uh, pretty happy with it. The corners are a little bit weird, and some areas are kind of like bubbling up, and I don't know. It's just hard to keep it all down uh, because I'm trying to force it to dry with this heat, so it definitely does not want to dry or manipulate like I want it to, but um, considering that I'm a beginner and uh, we just kind of made it happen, last minute decision, um, I wasn't even supposed to do it tonight, I was going to do it tomorrow morning and then uh, continue on throughout the day, but decided to rush it because YOLO got impatient, carbon fiber is super cool, uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go inside, go to sleep, and wake up in the morning, and probably by like 12 o'clock, this should be ready-ish to pop out of the mold, and I think we should be okay, so I'll see you guys at that time.